Hello guys, welcome back to EU4 as Moldavia, we'll try to get the Dracula's Revenge achievement. And I've been going forward again, and uh, we just actually pieced out of a war with Persia. Russia called us in, and we basically just helped out, and we gained a bunch of favors. Uh, not too much, I think like six. Um, but that's alright, we actually increased our trust for once. Um, but I'm probably not going to do that all too often again. Uh, other than that, not too much has happened. We've been building up our army a little bit. Now manpower is lacking behind, which is interesting, because for a long time that was basically... We had a lot of manpower, but now we have money again, but just not as much manpower. Also, I've, I've decided we're going to go for economic, offensive, and influence next. Uh, we don't actually have, any, have, have put any points into influence just yet, because... Um, basically I was trying to keep up or tech well catch up in technology um, but uh, we actually our king died Dracula died and now we have Jeronka the first and the cool thing about this guy is he was a 366 but he died and was actually in a regency council for like two years and during that time he started improving his administrative skill and he actually gained two points which is so amazing so we have a 550 uh, 566, a uh, really good, we're getting so many points in, and um, yeah, obviously because we just fought one of our rivals, we have a lot of power projection, and I'm thinking that now may be the right time to declare war on Austria, but I don't think it is just yet, um, because Austria, 72,000 men uh, that we have, obviously us, we don't have that many men just yet, we also have a lot of less, a lot less manpower than these guys, Burgundy also doesn't have a lot of manpower, 48,000 men, almost as many troops like, they're basically the same as Great Britain. So, Great Britain and Burgundy can fight each other. Um, and then we have, obviously, Bohemia with their 38,000. And, uh, obviously, Moldavia. We're gonna, would ha we would have to take care of Austria. So, I mean, it's possible. It's possible. But the problem is that, currently, if I were to take a war on Austria just now, um, England, not only England and their allies, Tunis, uh, would join in Savoy. But also would have Magdeburg in there. The, uh, well... Um, the, the Emperor right now. So I'm thinking about maybe killing Magdeburg first by just declaring war on Brandenburg, uh, reconquering a couple of, uh, well, the Prussian courts, basically just full annexing them and giving all the lands to Prussia. That's basically the idea. And we can call in a lot of guys. Um, and, I, and I'm kind of thinking about doing this. Definitely going to call in uh, Bohemia. Um, also probably going to call in, well, Bosnia for sure, because otherwise our points are useless. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm not going to call in, obviously, Burgundy, because that would be kind of a waste. But um, yeah, let's go the Cloudless War. Um, Bohemia, we're going to call... Nope, Bohemia, we're going to call you in. Uh, Bosnia, we're going to call you in. Burgundy, we're not going to call you in. And good enough. I think good enough. Reconquest of Sternberg. Yep. And the Cloudless War. Let's go. All right. And uh, we have a 30 stack right here. I think we might also want to... I don't think it's really necessary, but let's see. Uh, let's see who joins the war. Yep, tons of people. Um, uh, wow, yeah. A, a couple of small guys, interesting. So, we don't need this fort. We don't need to pay for this fort. And uh, let's go and besiege this stuff. We need, to, we need to be quick, because Bohemia has a claim here. We need to be actually super fast. Uh, so we'll see if we can make that. I think we're faster. Yeah, we're fast actually. Good. So we're gonna uh, siege that one real quick. Then we're gonna take care of these uh, 8,000 men. This should be a fort, so it should uh, stop Brandenburg for quite some time. And basically, uh, this is a um, this is a Prussian core, and this is a it was a Prussian claim. No longer it no longer is. But you know we're gonna give him these two provinces anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so Prussia can grow really strong. I might even after this push. Oh, well, yeah, kick down Sweden once more. Just really push them out of here, make Prussia even stronger, because uh, they're not that powerful just yet because of the religion I forced them on. Maybe that was a wrong decision, probably was a wrong decision, um, but you know, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter right now. So, um, actually, you split off that one dude twice, so one guy can go here, and the big army can squish these 8,000 men. So yeah, uh, I, but I still think afterwards we're gonna kill Sweden, and then really once we have a super strong power, um, we we're gonna go after first probably Great Britain, Austria, and then the Ottomans. I think that's how we're gonna do it. Um, I'm just surprised that it's taken me so long. I've just made so many mistakes. The Ottomans, I, I made the Ottomans basically. Well, I didn't make it, but the Ottomans grew way too powerful. That's the problem. 
and Austria too. But honestly, it was kind of mean. They they got this person who was over hungry immediately, and then they inherited them. You know, even worse. So there was not really that much I could do anyway. But yeah, whatever. Uh, so we're sieging the stuff. Uh, we need to do some stuff. Cool. Uh, Circassia, you're rising up, little bastards. But yeah, we got luckily men stationed there, and then uh, so that's that's not really a problem at all. And then next uprising is going to be in a. A, a DJ, that's cool. So uh, send our troops over as soon as they're done fighting these guys. Cool, pretty easy. And this army can probably, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Who are we fighting again? Uh, these small guys. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's just get them over there, it's fine. Maybe we're gonna kill Hamburg, just simply because we can. And I don't know what I want to do with Sweden, really. Um, do I want to take all of this stuff? Do I want to give it to Prussia? I don't know. Uh, Nuremberg already wants peace. Uh, not that quickly. And Brandenburg's already lost its capital. That's funny. That's funny to me. Alright, kill them. And, oh yeah, they've already they've already been pieced out. Well, in that case, you already... Uh, I think you're already Protestant. Uh, well, Orthodox. Well, give me all your cash. Break off all of your relations. That's all I can do. So, yeah, there it is. <laughs> awesome. That's so much fun. I love killing these small guys who cannot defend themselves. Gives me joy. Yeah, so that's basically what we've been doing. Um, we kind of need kind of need some more manpower, so I've been thinking about like maybe building some barracks. Uh, let's see where it would make sense. I also think we might need some more forts. Definitely one here. Yeah, for sure. And then maybe another one. But if we're gonna have Prussia in the north, I, I don't think so. We have Russia here, Prussia here, Bohemia here, and then our enemies here. But that should be enough. We have enough stuff already. Um, so, right, right, I wanted to build some manpower things. Also, um, yeah, training fields. Like, where's the most? 900. That's pretty good. That looks pretty good. I think it's one of the most. Right? 900. Yep. Alright, so 900. Then uh, 875 that I've seen over here somewhere. I know I've seen it. Oh, there it is. 875. And that was all the money. Alright, that's good. That's uh, a good amount of manpower there. Yeah, and obviously we're currently making spoils of war. 85 gold. Come on, guys. Crush dead. I think, yeah, basically, we're just gonna build up our men a little bit more, maybe just grab strength by weakening others, um, and then at some point, I mean, it's still been hoping for this uh, war, but Austria only had 35% liberty desire, that's crazy. And right now, it's actually, if the King of Bohemia dies today, that would be a, well, it actually says that what there was supposed to be a succession war between Great Britain and Moldavia, but because he's at war, uh, now it's just gonna be a Habsburg. So, we'll see. I mean, I obviously would like to grab Bohemia as uh, a personal union, although, I don't know, like, it's not really high priority. What is he doing? I need to fort this shit. Need to fortify this province, just so he doesn't take it <laughs> all of a sudden. That'd be terrible. Alright, so now it's fortified, good. So yeah, basically, Ban Brandenburg, all I want is like all of your provinces really now oh, you would give me almost all of them it's cool Prussia give all of it to Prussia and I made Prussia a march I'm not sure if I said that um, just really I, I don't want to annex Prussia I, I'm I want all of this stuff right here so I don't care about anything else um, so I just want them to be as powerful as they possibly can be to me as useful as they can be and obviously, ma making them a march also makes it so that um, they are more willing to... Well, that they have less liberty desire, I guess. That's that's how I should put it. So do I not want to give him that province? He might give it back anyway, that's possible. I don't know. How close would that be, though? Oh, it's actually quite a lot off. Interesting. Huh. Alright. Well, I can wait. I mean, it's not its not that bad. Don't need to finish the war immediately. But we have four more years of truce with Sweden. And um, I was improving. As you can see, I was 
well, I'm still improving relations. Actually, I w no, I was improving relations with uh, Austria. Simply because I was hoping I might be able to convince them to, well, declare war on, well, on England, I guess. They're only two Bosnia, Burgundy, oh, but they hate Bohemia, sadly. So there's no alliance. Well, let's approve relations with Milan, nonetheless. And it can't hurt. It can't hurt. This guy siege my stuff, how dare he. Hungary, just chilling there. Hungary's been doing a good job, especially considering that they're only a one province minor. They've been really, they've, they've really done a good job. I'm, I'm proud. I'm kind of proud of these guys. Alright, Brandenburg, you gotta be, uh, you, you, you gotta stop being that so stubborn. Seriously, bro. Don't, don't do this. It, it doesn't suit you. I guess as soon as, like, Hamburg falls, we're, we're pretty, pretty much done. But it actually takes some time. Um, so Memming is about... Everything's been sieged already. They have nothing... They're either completely sieged or are being sieged right now. I don't think they have... Well, Provence still has troops. Right. Provence is not being sieged. I wonder where's their... Where's their province? Oh, right. That one. No, they are being besieged. They just still happen to have troops around. That's basically it. Alright, we can tack up. Military again. Um, now before we do that, I might want to get recruitment time. <laughs> I don't know. I might as well, I guess. No, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to get it just now. Doesn't really seem all that useful, honestly. So 35%. 35% walls busted. Okay. So as soon as we piece these two, two guys out, I think we are probably able to uh, piece out um, Brandenburg. Pretty sure, actually. And I'm also going to make them orthodox, because why not? Just for the heck of it. Kind of like that. I like spreading orthodox. I don't know. Always like playing orthodox, orthodox nations. It's fun. I don't, I don't think necessarily that they're... Um, I don't think that their religion is pretty good, necessarily, but I'll still, I don't know, I like it. Okay, so Memmingen, you will be my first victim. You will obviously be forced religion, war operations, all of your cash, and get rid of all of your relations. At least all the ones you are willing to get rid of. Oh, okay, so he wants to be bold. Okay, next month then. That's totally fine, I can wait. Or maybe two more months, if possible. I won't get all of that prestige. Aragorn is no longer my rival world. That's good news. That's good news indeed. Um, yeah. I like that, actually. Uh, I've been improving relations. Oh, now they're friendly even. Would they take an alliance? They would. They would take an alliance, yes. Um, sure, why not? I mean, Aragon, yeah, they can totally help us against Britain. Um, not sure if they... Well, actually, they might. I don't know. I, I can't declare war on Britain directly, can I? I have no Cas Valley, yeah. So, I don't know if they would join us against Austria, though. It's possible, but unlikely. No, it's unlikely. Alright, whatever, though. Next month, we'll try and peace out again. Uh, maybe again. Uh, you ready, you? Not yet. No, that's fine. Let's get right, rid, uh, or let's get out of here, I guess. What are we building? Your barracks, right? I remember that. And we we gotta uh, have to recruit. No, not recruit. We gotta have to heal up our manpower. Yeah, Hamburg. I I want peace on my terms, not on your shitty terms. All right, man, man. It's time. It's time for you to peace out, bro. It's time. There we are. 100% peace deal. Awesome. More orthodox in the world. I love it. I just love it. Alright, uh, and Hamburg gonna get the same... You're gonna suffer the same fate. There we are, as soon as we have a diplomat anyway. Uh, I want force religion and war operations and all of your cash. And get rid of your... 
Oh, alliance with Burgundy. Yeah, no. Don't want to do that. All right, there we are. Awesome. And now it's just uh, it's just stupid old uh, Brandenburg. I'm pretty sure they're going to accept now. It's five days as soon as I have my diplomat. Come on, Brent. What the heck? Still say no. Interesting. Well, I guess we're going to have to kill this army here of Provence. And maybe Provence is going to fall anyway. I like all of these orthodox people now. So cool. So much orthodoxy. All these one province minus. Come on, Provence, fall. Keep up your capital. So I can peace out of this war. You bloody bastard. You bloody bastard. That's fine. His army wants to get wrecked as well. Not just his capital taken, but also his army should be destroyed. I can I kind of understand. You know, he wants the full package, I guess. Makes sense. But yeah, I'm just liking all the points we're getting in. Obviously, we're not getting much dip or many diplomatic points simply because we are three over our diplomatic relation limit, but I never really care that much, honestly. I never really care all that much. These guys want to rise up, but they're the only ones, really. Nobody cares about them at all. Alright, Provence is getting ridiculous now. You're the one uh, we're all waiting for. Jesus. Now it actually went down from 49% to 42? How is that How is that even possible? <laughs> like what? Especially because nobody moved anything. Also, we need to make sure that the military attack works this time. So we may have 17, just like we do. Prussia's at 17, Ottomans at 17, Russia's probably at, well, 16 actually. Burgundy's at 18. Am I at 18? Oh, we might not, oh, that's actually probably good. We should use that. Extra combat with, improved flanking range, and a new cannon that only Burgundy and Moldavia are going to have. Against Britain and these guys, that's actually useful. They're supporting independence of Kariba, so they might go to war. Hmm. I wonder if Aragon would join... No, they, they wouldn't. They would only join a war against Great Britain. But I cannot, I cannot declare war on them. Ah, it's too bad. Actually, am I also at war? The Emperor did not join a call, by the way. Magdeburg did not even defend them. That's interesting. I never noticed that until now. Because I didn't actually care, I guess. Come on, Bohemia. There we are. So let's... I mean, might as well peace out Provence. Make them orthodox. Embrace the glorious religion. They would even become my vassal. Interesting. I'm not interested, though. Uh, get rid of all of your alliances. Sweden, obviously. Dreadful Sweden. Oh, that's good enough. Yep. There we are. And we can peace out Brandenburg as well. Full, full annexation. And maybe we get rid of your cause as well. Yeah, I just don't want you to be around anymore, you know? You're just... Meh. Eh. Yeah, go away. Go away. There we are. Awesome. So Prussia, very strong indeed. I like it. I like it so much. Prussia can actually be quite useful now to us. They even have a fleet. I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed by these guys. Um, so we're going to go a little bit forward. Um, do I want to upgrade this just yet? No, I don't think so. Um, Burger... Bohemia, where's your troops? 9,000 men, is that it? Must he be helping? Did he help us in this war? He might have. Actually, don't even... Oh, yeah, he sieged Provence, obviously, he did. Uh, yeah, we should probably go forward. Jeez. What, it? what did I do right now? I don't know. Must have kind of tapped out or something. Oh. Yeah, okay, so good job, Prussia, refusing doing... Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't want you to give up that province. That would be terrible. So, um, I don't know. Are we going to declare this war? Actually, let's first see if we can get this alliance with... Oh, we can. We can. Now, I'm going to get that alliance. Simply because it's useful. It can be useful. Oh, what the heck is with my... the heck is with my uh, spacebar? I can no longer... What the heck is going on? I can no longer press... Oh, now it works. What the heck? Anyway, uh, what I wanted to do was actually... Um, Roy Mary? 
these guys? Let me see. No. Oh, but let's have a look at the Bohemia again. So, Bohemia... Okay, now here's the thing. Uh, succession war between Great Britain and uh, Moldavia. So here's, here's the problem. If we wait, um, that means we will have to contest Great Britain. And that means we're not going to have Bohemia fighting on our side, but Bohemia fighting against us alongside Austria. And, and I think that might be a little bit too much for us to handle. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, I think we should probably try and declare this war on Austria right now. I wonder if Aragon would join. I really wonder. Yes, they would. They would indeed. Now, that is amazing. Now, Bohemia, you don't want to because they don't owe us 10 favors. But everyone else does. Okay, how many favors do you own us, actually? Uh, owe us, not own. Um, eight. Okay, guys, I think I think I know what I'm going to do. So we're going to declare this war on Austria. We're going to call in Aragon, Burgundy, and Bohemia. Next episode, we're going to take all of the, uh, the, the cores back from, from Hungary. Wait, what? Okay, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing, am I? Okay, yeah. So, so all the cores from Hungary, take them back, then we can start annexing Hungary. And then we're going to be really super strong. And then we can basically just fight the Ottomans. So that's what we're going to do next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I will see you then. It's Yuchironka, signing off.